All right, hi, welcome back to Nick in China. Today, I'm gonna to show you around a Ming Dynasty courtyard family home. So this was the home of Gao Yuesong, who was a Ming Dynasty official. Probably wealthy, I imagine very wealthy. Um, these kind of courtyard houses, they're massive obviously. And I think uh, in Xi'an, actually all over China, there are not many of them left, especially in condition like this. Um, gives a good feel of how life was back then. Hello. God, those birds speak better Chinese than I do. That's concerning. Gotta get studying again. So I've never been here before, uh, despite all my time in Xi'an. And it's right in the middle of Xi'an, in one of the busiest tourist parts of Xi'an as well, in the Muslim quarter. Um, but just never bothered coming, it's always looked busy. Obviously, given the situation now, there are not many tourists in Xi'an. So, kind of got it to myself. <laughs> these little cuties. Hello. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do love cats and animals. They look like they're having a nice time. Some mental looking goose. Oh, not sure about geese though. They're a bit weird. Anyone know what these are for? In Xi'an, you see lots of these. They're all over the place. Um, well, I know the Chinese viewers will know what they are. They were old posts used for tying your horse onto. So you put your, obviously the rope of your horse through this little hole and lash it on. I guess these ones are actually old ones from the Ming Dynasty. Um, a lot of the ones you see in Xi'an are replicas, I imagine. So this was the main hall of the house. Um, where basically the owner of the place, Mr. Gao, would receive guests and also formal events like weddings and things would be held here too. So this was the room where, when the master was treating his guests, the ladies would um, retire to. Some nice calligraphy in here. What does it say? Xue Dao Ai Ren. Hmm. Kind of means <laughs> study Taoism and love people. Well, if anyone's got a better translation than my bad translation, comment below. So the final main room is the master's chamber. This was his bedroom. Oh, there he is, still here. Um, and this middle part was where he entertained more close guests. And apparently at the end it was a dining room. Or so I've just been told by a gentleman who works here. It's quite a big room. It's so well maintained, to be honest. It's not often you get buildings like this in Xi'an that are this old, especially houses, of course, which are kept in such good condition. There's something so aesthetically pleasing about these places. I mean, that is spectacular. So it's full of all these tiny little courtyards and alleyways and rooms and opening up like openings like this place. Um, it's like a little rabbit warren, it's amazing. These orange flowers are the flower of the pomegranate. Um, it's quite an important plant in this part of China, um, especially in Lintong, just next to Xi'an, where the terracotta warriors are. It's like the, the local treasure, <laughs> if you will. Um, yep, yeah, all over the place. Beautiful flowers. So this small room here is the ancestor temple. 
It's at the highest point in the whole courtyard. Um, obviously, Confucian values, respect the ancestors and all that. This building was the, uh, the school where the children of the family got their education. Um, actually, they still use it now for like calligraphy and things. Like you can pay money, obviously, and they go and teach you some things, which is quite cool. Sun's just come out, beautiful. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and I will do more videos very shortly. Um, everybody stay safe, take care, until next time. Bye bye.